That's right. After several hours of waiting, I have acquired the orange belt. Look at that. Time to add it to the collection. Now, only one more left. The red one. This episode is going to be insane. I have got some crazy, crazy plans. And I've even done one of those crazy plans before the episode has even started. I have mined out all of that area. And here is the time lapse to prove it ultra fast speed. Check it out. When we go in here, this is the size of the hall that's going to be here. Now, I haven't removed this. I'm not going to remove this thing until the very last second. I have been stockpiling some sugarcane, but not nearly enough for an entire season, I can tell you that much. But check it out. You get a real sense of size now. The item sorter will hopefully go in here. I may be able to shave a couple of layers off here, but overall, I am fed up of mining. So fed up of mining. But that's not actually going to be the- Ow! Now, that's not actually going to be the focus of today's episode. The base has been worked on, I have done an awful lot of mining, and I mean, just to prove how many materials there are, all of those chests are full. Full of materials from that excavation. But we're going to take this, and we're going to do something extra special. At the end of last episode, I said we need to do something about this. And I've been saying it for a while. And it's about time we did the thing. We need someone on the server who is in charge of this diamond pile. And I don't think it should be me. I'm going to campaign for someone to become the mayor of the shopping district. What can they do? Well, they can do things with the diamonds, I guess. They can pay for roads to be built, they can help laying out, they can change the rules on the pricing and all sorts of things. But it can't just be anyone. It's it's not it's not just gonna be me. I'm I'm the mayor. No, we need to have a proper election. So who do who on this server is the right man for the job? Well, look at that. Mumbo jumbo. Isn't that isn't that the face of a man that you would vote for? I have got a fantastic idea. Now, we are going to campaign for Mumbo Jumbo to become the mayor of the shopping district. I mean, the, the best part of this is Mumbo hasn't, hasn't got a clue. He'll find out only when it's too late. In fact, it would be absolutely hilarious if he didn't find out until the very last second. So, the first thing we're going to do to kick off our campaign for Mumbo Jumbo is a promotional poster. Now, fortunately, there is a space that has already been allocated for custom maps. People have been making them for a while now. And we are going to take some, not even half, of the resources that we got from here to make this map. So we're going to take shulker box after shulker box full of stone, and we're going to get cracking on this. I think I've got everything I need. Now we just need to head over to that area. This might be the portal. Yes, this looks like it. So, as you can see, this is not a small task. In fact, the number of blocks required to make something like this will probably astound you. So, we're going to take this plot right here. Fortunately, Cub has already marked out the exact size for it, so that is really, really good. Now, you can see how many shulker boxes that I've brought with me, but the actual physical numbers that have to be placed may really surprise you. I have to place 16,000 blocks. 16,000. That's how big this space is. And then on top of that, I then need to decorate it to get exactly what I need. So, I think it's uh, not exaggerating to say this is going to be awful for me. <laughs> this is not going to be fun, but we are going to time lapse it and hopefully this will come out exactly how I hope it will. The campaign begins. Vote for Mumbo.
My goodness. Look at this. That is a lot bigger than it looks. There's a lot of placing. So here's the thing. I think I've saved some time doing this. And I'll tell you why. Cub has made his newspaper out of snow blocks here. So he had to go and grind all of these bits of snow. I didn't have to do that because I already had all this stone. So I've used the stone, but now I need to cover it in snow. And I think the fastest way to do this is with these guys. Boom. And I can even remove the pumpkin. You, sir, are going to help me cover this whole thing in snow. Now, to stop them going onto Cub's map, I'm going to make a quick barrier that goes all the way across. Because I see you. You're about to go. I saw it. So, they're going to just slide around and create more snow. Hopefully, they don't jump in the ocean. But obviously, one snowman isn't going to cut it. So, I'm going to make a bunch of these guys and then set them all loose. But I think this will be a lot more fun to watch as another short time lapse. So, let's go. It is all complete, and it's time for the big reveal. Da -na -na -na. Mumbo for Mare. That looks absolutely fantastic, but I've got to admit, it took far longer and potentially took part of my soul with it to make it. I think this was eight hours of work for this. Eight hours for one bit of paper. The colors look a little bit different from the map to what's in sort of reality. This looks quite a lot brighter, but I think overall it looks pretty good. I have added a nice border and a mustache underneath and you'll notice that the mustache is actually gone from my face. I basically head butted, face planted this, this poster like so. And I've put Mumbo's, well, it wasn't even his moustache, the back of Mumbo's hair onto the poster. And I'm going to use this to promote Mumbo for mayor of the shopping district. I find myself just keep, I keep looking at this and I just like, I'm just really happy because actually building text like this on the floor is surprisingly difficult. It doesn't matter how good you are at building, but writing text in pixels, that's tough. So... This is now done and we can actually start the promotion. So let's head over to the shopping district. But I think I may have got a little bit ahead of myself because even if we did start a campaign, there's just, there's just a pile of diamonds. Like I really feel that I've probably gone and done step two before step one. So maybe we should backtrack a little bit here and actually make a building. A building that's like an official thing. It doesn't belong to anyone. I don't mind making it myself, but it doesn't belong to anyone but the shopping district itself. Meaning the land that it will be on doesn't have to be paid for, but it would be like the official place of the mayor. So I'm thinking what we need is a really cool townhouse or something like that. Like the, the not the mayor's house, but you know, like his office or something. So yeah, a townhouse. And I have a vague idea on what to build. And there's actually quite a nice spot here now that I think about it. There's one there as well. But I'd rather not have to make this entirely by myself because I have a feeling it's going to be quite a big build, the idea I have in mind. So I'm thinking I enlist the help of two builders on the server and the first two names that sort of jump out at me are of course Good Times with Scar, my neighbour, 
and actually potentially B-dubs. He makes some really good stuff. So he's he's kind of known for his building stuff as well. So I might drop them a quick sign at their bases, just asking if they're down to give me a hand with this thing. Maybe we'll keep this secret for now until the town hall is built because the town hall can then explain a little bit more about why this is needed. And while we're here, we might as well do the rounds. Oh my goodness. Lots of diamonds. The barge is doing surprisingly well. It doesn't look it doesn't look like my new stock is selling much though. We are we have sold some name tags and we have sold some golden carrots. You know, we're not doing too bad on the diamond front at the moment. I have no idea if Ren has accepted his pesky bird delivery yet. I haven't seen anything. So anyway, let's go over to B Dubs's and Scar's house. Let's start with B Dubs. I have no idea where B Dubs's portal is. Aha! This looks mighty suspect. Oh my goodness, B Dubs! Look at this lovely little village that he's making. Yeah, this is definitely the right choice. B-dubs has a really, really nice style. Look at those houses. He's even made diorite a feasible block. Yeah, I really like this. I like this a lot. But where do I put the signs to ask him for help? This little visit to B-dubs' place has made me realize how out of touch I am with anything that's not in the jungle. <laughs> and unfortunately for B-dubs, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Someone took your door and it wasn't it wasn't me. I didn't really know how to phrase this, so I've written this out. Hi, I'm planning on making a town hall for the shopping district to promote the need for a new mayor. Hashtag organize the shopping district. I need some builder help. Would you be interested? G. P.S. Someone stole your doors. Not sure who. <laughs> so hopefully B-dubs will uh, get in touch with me and say that he is interested. And in the meantime, I'm going to steal the rest of his doors. One, <laughs> two, three. Okay, I think we're done here, and I think we've definitely made the right decision. Oh my goodness, look at these farms. Oh, they're, they're purely aesthetic, but just look at that. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's go before I get insanely jealous of these builds. And now we pay a little visit to our friend, Good Times with Scar. And this is what happens when you spend two days making a custom map somewhere else on Hermitcraft. You come back and there are giant trees everywhere. This is gonna- <laughs> this makes the jungle trees look small. This entire jungle. With this and Iskal's trees, this is gonna put everything right out of scale. <laughs> They look amazing. Anyway, where should we put these signs? Probably in Larry as he goes in here. All right, let's make the same sort of situation. Okay, so I've more or less written the same message asking for help and hashtag organize the shopping district and PS you need a new door. <laughs> Looks like Scar is also in need of a giant item sorter. I feel like we're having a little competition on who can have the best chest monster. Check it out. He's got, I mean, his chest monster is far more organized than mine. Check it out. So mine's just out of render distance, but when it comes in, yeah, look at that. What a mess this is. Which kind of leads me on to my next project. I want to put this to the side for now until we have the, uh, the town hall done. It just makes more sense to me if we actually have a building showing how serious I am about this before I start promoting someone to be mayor. So let's have a look at what this looks like on an item frame. You know what? That looks even better on there than it does in my hand. That looks absolutely fantastic. You can read it from quite a nice distance as well. I'm proper happy with this. And actually, speaking of Mumbo, I noticed this, but I've, I've disabled this thing. <laughs> but I actually noticed that there was this. Thanks, we play now. I assume that he's gone for the win? He did. He did. He went for the win. We let him win. I'm glad, I'm glad that he enjoyed it. So GG Mumbo, <laughs> you took the win. Also, thank you for the diamond. Now, even though Scar and B-dubs haven't actually given their go-ahead, I would be surprised if they said no, but, I mean, they're totally within their rights. But I imagine that those two are up for anything like that, and I bet secretly they want some organization for the shopping district. So, what I'm gonna do is actually trade a bunch with my villagers, and I'm going to get... 
these, lots and lots of bricks, because I want to make the shopping district town hall mainly out of like bricks, granite and some sandstone, and bricks are annoying to collect, so I'm going to trade them with these guys. Oh, they're actually saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me fix that. Oh, there we go. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay, so I'm going to trade up a little bit with these guys. Hello. Hello. And I've got together quite Hello. a lot Hello. of bricks and granite. This isn't going to be nearly enough. Hello. I'm going to need several. Hello. Okay, this is why Hello. I this is why I turn it off. Hello. Because it does actually Hello. Hello. it does actually get pretty piercing, you know Hello. what I mean? Hello. With them going like ha ha ha. Hello. It, you know, it kind Hello. of like you can tune it out, but when they're Hello. shouting "Hello? Hello?" Hello. Hello. You can't you can't tune it out. Hello. If I turn them right down, Hello. you can still kind of hear them, but it's not quite as bad. So, while I prepare for the shopping district build, I think we'll pop this where no no one should really be coming in here. So we'll pop this here for now. And we're going to have to make loads of copies of this to be able to post it all over the, the server. But of course, we're going to wait for that building to be completely finished. I also decided to do a little bit of tidying up here. I got rid of this crane because it's no longer an accidental iron farm and there's no need for it. So I've cleaned that up a little bit. And I've also noticed my villagers have vanished. Again, I don't know what I, I assume that a mob keeps just walking in here and slaughtering them So I need to rethink this and ask Scar to kindly send me. Oh He's there. I wonder if he's seen my messages. Look, look at him. <laughs> look at him poking between those He looks so sneaky and a lot of you might have also assumed that I've stopped collecting people's doors This isn't the case this is not the case at all. I am collecting people's doors still. I'm just not hunting for them all the time. I can't spend all day every day going to each person's house and stealing their door. But when I'm there, when I'm around, when I get the opportunity, I add to the collection. And I'm actually getting to the point where I have quite a lot of people. I mean, most of these are belong to Scar, but I have quite a few people's doors now. So I'm thinking as part of this, obviously we're going to have our item sorter in here. We need the introduction of a door dungeon of some kind. Now that's obviously not going to happen for quite a while. One, we don't have nearly enough doors, but two, there's not really anywhere to put a door dungeon in yet because there's no, there's no build. Oh, hey, Mr. G. I want to hear more about this project. Hello. Oh, looks like we got someone who's in. I'm still just trading away getting up these bricks. Heading over now. Oh, you <laughs> It's just a hi. Hi. <laughs> he scared the life out of me. <laughs> he scared me. Or should I say he scarred me? Um, okay, I'm going to call him. You genuinely startled me. I was like, oh, I'm on my way. And I just turn around and boom. You're in the doorway. Oh, oh, I was watching you do your trading. I didn't want to. Didn't want to disturb. Really? Yeah. Hello. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. When? When did you? Did you? When you said, "Can I hear more about this?" Was were you watching me trading? Yeah, I want to hear all about your trading. Hello. No, Hello. you left me signs in my uh, snail. Yes, I did. I did because um, I had this idea Hello. to have a uh, proper leader of the shopping district. Should we? Should we actually head over to the shopping district so I can pitch you the idea? Yes. Hi, Scar. Hi. I didn't make it to the top. I fell. <laughs> when, I, when I said meet in the shopping district, this isn't quite what I meant. So what are we here for? You were talking about some town hall business, something yeah, about my yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. So I'm feeling like the shopping district, as beautiful and chaotic as it is, is a little bit of a mess. Like we got we got some cobblestone walkways and then sometimes we have no walkways and it's just it's disorder. It's chaos. And there's a bee on a leash. There is a bee on a leash like mm, there's the chaos. So I was looking at this diamond pile and I was thinking like no one's Ooh. in charge of this and it would make so <laughs> much sense if there was a proper mayor and obviously we need to have some sort of like election. We all elect the leader, but there, there needs to be more than just a diamond pile. So I'm thinking a big town hall and we kind of put the diamonds in there and then we elect a leader. What do you think? Oh, that sounds really good. Now, quick question about the mayor. Would the mayor be upset? because I don't pay for my land on time for my shops because I still haven't paid for my land. I guess it depends greenhouse. Depends who the mayor is. You know, if Tango hmm. was the mayor, he might say, no, I'm very upset. But if Mumbo was the mayor, he'd probably be lenient. He'd probably be okay with it. You know what I mean? 
what I mean? You probably wouldn't even notice, probably, really. Yeah, you probably wouldn't even notice. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, well, I would rather not have to build this huge building by myself. So, I've asked uh, you, and actually, I, I sent the same message to B-Dubs. And I was oh, wondering... B-Man. Yeah. I was wondering, maybe we could do, like, a a collab on it and get all three of us to make it together. Kind of share the burden. So, we got G-Man, we got B-Man, and... S man, that doesn't S sound S very S good. S man, no. Actually. I need, I need a new name. Yeah, Viewers, yeah. help me out. <laughs> but this does sound really interesting. Um, yeah. Any idea where you want to put it? This place is absolute chaos. Yeah. Like it's kind of, it's amazing builds, but in a horrible, organized fashion. I, I well, it, it really drives me crazy. If B Dubs is in, we can work that out with him, shall we? Yeah, that that would be good. Oh, I'm excited about this. This will be fun. I'll, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll right. be in touch when I hear back from B Dubs. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. But for now, I am afraid that is all we have time for. It has been a very busy few days. We made the poster for Mumbo. We mined out probably about twenty thousand blocks. Maybe, wait, probably more. I mean, I, this took this took over a day on its own. But these are the sorts of jobs that have to be done before you can do the others. So, I'm pretty happy with our progress. We got an orange concrete, we made a mayor for Mumbo sign, and we've asked our friends to help with the town hall. It's nice to take a little break from building sometimes, especially when you've got such a monster project like this. But don't worry, we'll be back at it very, very soon. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I shall see you in the next episode, which could be extremely exciting. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye!